Welcome to the Ask ITNS video lecture of Functions and Logarithm. My name is Sunil Kumar. I'm a graduate from IIT Kharagpur and I've been associated with the Ask ITNS as an in-house faculty for mathematics. In this chapter of Functions and Logarithm, we'll look at various topics including the basic definition of both the topics and then in functions, we'll start with the various types of functions that we have. Then we'll move on to the number of functions of various types along with composite functions, inverse of a function, many one function, one one functions and periodic functions and different varieties of functions like these. Along with that, we'll learn the importance of the curves along with the functions associated. And then in the next part, when we come to logarithms, we'll again go through the basic definition of logarithm and then continue on with the operations including logarithm in the modern mathematics. Now in this part, part 1, we'll look at the basic definition of functions and then types of functions that we have. So let's move on to the lecture and study it. Hello, my name is Sunil Kumar. I'm a graduate from IIT Kharagpur and an in-house expert for mathematics in Ask ITNs. In this chapter, we'll be studying functions and logarithm. Now, up till now, what do we know? Till now, you must have studied so many variables with constants in chapters like linear equation, quadratic equation and in different forms of algebra. Now, the composition of variables with constants give us a unique feature. With the different outputs that we get, there are invariable different number of inputs that we actually provide. Now based on these inputs, the outputs that we get, it goes through a certain process which we name it as a function. Everything that you have studied in linear equation as well as quadratic equation, other equations involving variables are a part of function. Now, how do we differentiate functions is what we are going to study. What is the strength of a function we are going to study and what could be the limit of a function. In this chapter, we are going to understand the functionality of a function. Now, this, this is just, have a look at this diagram that I have drawn. This diagram is the best example to explain a function. All right. So you see, in this part, I have a machine. Okay. This machine tells me This is the machine that tells me what I'll get, okay? Based on that, what is the requirement? I process it through here. Then it goes, This is. these are my inputs. Everything goes in there. The machine runs is processed and in the output, I get these things. Now this is all that we are going to study, okay? So basically, a function is something that tells us what is the processing of any numerical equation that involves constant as well as variables. Now, let's look at the contents that we are going to study. 